The Rwanda plan is a complete and utter sham. It is a distraction technique to take your eye off what you can see happening right now, right in front of you. You've been lied to about legal immigration for years. Countless prime ministers and home secretaries have told you they will get it under control. And they haven't. You can see your community changing. You can see your public services being battered. You can see British culture being eroded. You can see your tax bills going up. You can see the streets becoming less and less safe. You can see net migration at 645,000, maybe as high as 750,000, whatever it ends up being when they revise it next year. You can see all of that. And what's happened is political leaders have dangled something shiny in front of our faces to take our focus off it. The Rwanda plan. Rishi saying, I'll stop the boats. But we are years on from the Rwanda plan first being proposed. And where are we as of today? We are back exactly where we started. The left don't like it because it's inhumane. The Tory centrists will back it through gritted teeth because otherwise there'll have to be a general election, which they'll lose. And the Tory right don't support it because it doesn't go far enough. Even if it gets through Parliament tomorrow, it'll get held up in the Lords, then in the courts. The British public have been monumentally let down by our political class. They did it over Brexit. They wanted a second referendum because the public couldn't be trusted. They thwarted a proper Brexit. They denied us the right to take competitive advantage. It took years to get a piss poor deal where nobody wins. And now it's happening on immigration. Promises, promises, promises. Lies, lies, lies. The Conservative Party is ripping itself to death over a policy that won't blooming work. Labour haven't got a solution. The Lib Dems and the Greens are irrelevant and reform will struggle because of our voting system. It's easy to see why people believe in conspiracy theories. Because if there was a conspiracy, this is exactly how they'd go about it. The Tory party is split on everything. Taxation, the ECHR, their social media policy, Brexit, now the Rwanda bill. I look around the House of Commons and I just see a load of jellyfish, just utterly spineless individuals. Nigel wasted no time setting his stall out when he came out of the jungle, though. I've no idea whether Sunak gets through this vote tomorrow or whether the Tory rebels vote down this new pathetic Rwanda plan. What I do know is we'll never deal with any of this all the while we stay part of the ECHR. So here's what I'm asking you, the top of this hour. Should the Tory party split and the new Conservatives, the ERG, the right wing of the party, fall in line behind Nigel Farage. GB Views at GBNews.com.